Hello, hello. Welcome to Motivational Gems. My name is Sarah. In this channel, we talk about mindset, personal finance, and entrepreneurship. Today, we're going to be talking about 15 side hustles so that you can start making money today. Side hustle number one, baking cakes. Are you one of those people who enjoys baking your cakes and decorating them too? Well, now that the world has opened up again and everybody's back in business, you should consider baking cakes. Keep in mind that a lot of people couldn't celebrate their sweet 16s, quinceañeros, weddings, baby showers, the way they were supposed to or the way they wanted to. Let's put it that way. And now everybody's ready to party and celebrate and they feel that they deserve a decent cake, a decent party because they abstain themselves for two years. So if you know as a fact that your cakes are good and you have a knack for baking, why don't you sell your own cakes? There are many people doing it successfully online. So in person is even better. Make sure that you take very nice pictures from different angles of your cakes, even create videos of you preparing and decorating them. Side hustle number two, birth doula. A birth doula is a trained, experienced, certified birth professional who provides continuous physical, emotional, and informational support to expectant women and their partner before, during, and after the birth. A doula can work for a birthing center. They can also work with a midwife, one midwife or several midwives. And they can work for the health department as long as the health department has a doula program. But most doulas work independently. It requires a lot of promotion, but word of mouth is powerful because the, the pregnant women will remember the support that you gave them. They might forget the name of their OBGYN or their nurse, but they'll always remember the doula, the doula who was there for them. It's like having a private, I don't want to say a private nurse because they're not nurses, but you have this private professional who's with you all the time on the day of, of your delivery, but you know her since months before. You don't have to be a celebrity to get a doula. And more and more people are learning about this service. So if you're the one, the first person to get certified among your friends, your friends will, will support your business and will let other people know. Um, again, it requires a lot of promotion and maybe a website, a YouTube page, but it's totally doable and they make good money. Side hustle number three, closet and space organizer. If you're extremely organized and detail oriented, you could become a closet and space organizer. All it requires is for you to start taking pictures of your work before and after pictures and posting them on your Instagram and Facebook. You might even want to consider making a few videos. You'll have to do your promotion, of course, with mini flyers and um, business cards. And you might consider have, having to create a website or um, advertising. But there's money to be made because closet organizers, they make money by the hour. You'll be that person, the voice of reason in this person's mind, because what happens is a lot of people are just shopping till they drop. Then they become practically hoarders. They end up with all this stuff, all this clutter in the house, and it becomes overwhelming. If they can see some before and after pictures of your work, they know that they deserve some mental sanity and they'll appreciate your work. Closet organizers are always appreciated because they bring organization and peace and tranquility 
to people's mind. But like any other business, the challenge is getting the word out and it's just a matter of taking lots of pictures and letting people know what you do. Side hustle number four, package deliverer through Amazon Flex. Amazon is getting into all sorts of businesses and opportunities and thank goodness for that. It's just a matter of downloading their app and checking their opportunities every day or several times a day. This opportunity offers you flexibility, especially if you're a mom and you wanna be there for your kids during their recitals or their games or um, any type of school activities. This is wonderful because you set your own hours. You look into the app and you, you pick the block, they divide it in blocks of time and you can make 15, 18 to $25 per hour. So basically you pick a location close to your house where you're gonna be picking up these boxes and the app will give you very clear instructions on where to go to deliver these boxes and you'll, before you pick an assignment, you already know where you're gonna be going and how long it will take you. There's no surprises. Your payment is, is deposited directly to your bank account on a weekly basis. And I'm leaving some information here, the link, so that you can check it out. Side hustle number five, painting houses. This side hustle is not for everybody. It's hard work, but there's money to be made. My stepdad back in Elgin, Illinois, used to paint houses. He was retired already because he was um, seven years older than my mom. My mom worked as a teacher and he basically stayed home and he used to walk the do dog around the neighborhood. And one day, he saw this old man struggling to paint his house and it was taking him forever because he would do a little section every day and it was like never ending. And he said hi and he spoke to him and, and, and the old man said, I wish I could find somebody responsible who will not steal my tools and who will do a, lot, a good job. And he said, I know how to paint. I can do a really good job. And he gave, me, he gave him a quote for the area that was not painted um, because the man had already done like half the work. And he did such a wonderful job. And the guy was so happy because he found the price very fair. And it, he, did, he was really quick at it. So the neighbors are always watching. And the neighbors came, complimented my stepdad. And not only that, three painting jobs came out of that one. So if this is my, this was my stepdad, he died already, but a retired man not looking for a side hustle. It was just coincidence. And he was a little bored, you know, but that from then on, he began painting one or two houses per month because one job would lead him to another. No social media. Okay, he didn't, back then they didn't have Instagram. This was, I believe it was in the late 90s. Um, or maybe they did, I don't know, but he didn't have any social media. But no flyers, no Facebook, none of that. No internet whatsoever. It was basically word of mouth. And he was busy, he, he was able to get enough jobs to stay busy painting one or two houses. Only one time he needed help. So he got somebody, he paid somebody to help the person, to help him because the house was really high. But other than that, he did it on him, uh, on, by himself. And that became his travel money because they used to travel a lot. So if you're behind in your child support or you wanna get a down payment for a house or maybe um, help your kids with their college whatever the, the case is maybe you just want to supplement your income because we are living in difficult times but there's money to be made 
painting houses if you are meticulous if you are responsible and clean side hustle number six pet sitting if you like cats and dogs and you're really good with them you can become a pet sitter your first few clients can be obtained at rover.com unless you know people maybe just a matter of start texting people calling people and letting them know what you're doing um, let your people um, let your co-workers know let people at church know let your neighbors know and in a matter of no time they'll be counting on you because people want to be able to travel but they stress out when it comes to their pets because they don't want to leave them at these different um, vets and different locations where they have hundreds not hundreds but they have many dogs in little cages and it's like a nut house where if you if they know you or if they see your house and see that they're going to be safe there and that the place is not crowded um, they'll feel much more comfortable now my daughter pet sits for two families from church and um, only those two families because she has a little part-time job so um, one of the ladies is so attached to her little dogs that my daughter takes little videos she takes videos one or two videos or maybe a picture and a video and sends it to the lady and she appreciates that so much has she ever asked her to do that no one day she did it out of the blue, the lady loved it, and it has become a normal practice for my daughter. And it reminds me of these daycares that have a camera where, where the parents can see their kids. Well, in this case, it's a little video that she provides. Totally out of the blue, she did that, and the lady loves that. So keep that in mind if you become a pet sitter. You can send a picture every now and then, and the clients will love it. Okay, so again, rover.com, unless you plan to do your business cards and mini flyers and advertise on social media. Side hustle number seven, pressure washing. If you have a pressure washing machine in your garage, you can create a side hustle starting today. Your neighbors need your help I walk around my neighborhood and most houses are very clean but you have those who need pressure washing badly you can take a walk in your neighborhood approach your neighbors or maybe give them a business card your mini flyer you can advertise online for free on Facebook Instagram and you can advertise on places like Craigslist or leave your card at Home Depot or talk to people who, who do landscaping and let them know that you offer that service because we tend to ask our service providers, do you know somebody who does this? Do you know somebody who does that? People will not recommend you if they don't know what you do. So you need to let them know. Start with your friends, your relatives, your coworkers, people at church. They're old ladies in your neighborhood who are widows people who have bad backs, people who are getting very old. And the Homeowners Association will send them letters threatening to uh, find them because they don't care. You know, they want the place looking clean. So you can be that person, that savior, who will come and pressure wash their house, do a really great job, you make your money, and you have a happy client who will call you back and not only that will recommend you there's money to be made and you know what if you don't have a pressure washer go get one at Home Depot they're really cheap look for sales maybe if you don't find it in on sale at one place you go to the other Lowe's all these different places Target Walmart so pressure washing consider it it's easy and um, you don't need a huge investment this is very doable Side hustle number eight, rent your car on Turo. You can turn your car into an income generating asset by including it on Turo. You rent your cars basically to tourists or business people who come to your area. 
they'll use your car maybe your car maybe you work at home and your car spends most of the time in the driveway just collecting dust figure out when are the days when you don't need your car download the app and offer your car you lock in the days when you do need your car or maybe it's a second car that you have just sitting in the garage you can make money the app will allow you to change the prices um, accept trips change your pr prices message your clients you'll have 24-hour customer service provided by Turo they also provide insurance for your clients and they offer business advice so that you can become a savvy business owner because they want you to include more cars or eventually add more cars to your profile. There are people who have 15, 20 cars on Turo, but they started with one. That's all it takes to start. And it's very, their website and their, their app is very user friendly. So again, rent your car on Turo. Side hustle number nine, resume writing. With the recent layoffs, in the market it seems that the job market is going to get tighter and people will be needing help to get jobs people are going to be looking for jobs so you can be that person who creates a nice resume if you have decent writing skills and you like to research you can be that person who creates a nice resume for your client charge them through paypal advertise on craigslist on Facebook, um, Fiverr, and these other websites, these other areas where I'm gonna leave, leave for you, and make your money. Not only you get to make money at home, from home, but you're helping people. They're gonna need you badly very soon. So again, resume writing. Number 10, start a blog. If you have a knack for writing, you can create your own blog. You'll need to pick, pick a niche. You'll need a nice name, catchy name, a domain name, and you just start writing articles. Wait till you have at least five articles and then you start your, your blog. Um, you can include pictures that are taken by you or you can use stock photography. You will need to learn about SEO so that you can rank in the search engines. But this is something that you can do from home while you work and you can even interview people who are related to that niche that you're going to pick. The, the, in the beginning, you're just focusing on creating an audience but once you have an audience you can contact apply for um adsense and you can monetize your blog in the same way that youtubers monetize their videos their channel and you can get paid um depending on the amount of views that your your blog gets every day you can also get sponsors and you can include affiliate links where you advertise products that you trust in, tr products that you know and, and that you trust. And if a purchase is made thanks to that link, you get money. So it's, it's your business, okay? You treat it like your own magazine online and you will make money. It's amazing how a lot of blogs started it with one one person and now they have a staff of five or ten people so think big and just do the work keep writing keep writing and improving your skills and you'll end up with a beautiful project side hustle number 11 rent your parking space if you're not using it rent your driveway your garage or even a room in your house if you have space that you're not using you can turn that into money money people are tired of paying all these high amounts to these storages in their communities if you're willing to give them a better price they will work for you 
there's actually a website called neighbor.com that will post, um, will advertise for you and get your clients, or you can do it on your own. But people need space. They need storage space. If you happen to have a back, your backyard is fenced, you can even put a boat back there. So think about it. You can capitalize on that space that you're not using. Maybe your kids got married. Maybe your kids went to college or you have that extra room, but nobody comes to visit. Think about it because you can rent this space. There are people who want to make money. They want to turn their house into an asset. They want the house to pay for itself. Well, here we're not talking about renting a room. Maybe you're very jealous about your space, but it's basically renting an, a small area. So think about it. Rent your own space. Side hustle number 12, tree pruner. We need to think outside the box. There's money to be made. Maybe you're behind in your car payment. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you just want to invest. Whatever the case is, there's money to be made and people need you. They need you. Okay. I'm going to show you some instruments that I have. They're kind of rusty, but it doesn't matter. They're in my garage. Now we have a guy who does our loan, our, our lawn. We have this guy. He comes every week. So in the beginning, he told us that he would do our trees. We had these tools, but he said that he would do it. And he used to do a heck of a job. But now he's so busy because he has all these clients. In the beginning, when he came, he didn't have much clients. But now, since I told you that neighbors are watching and that if you do a good job, they will hire you and word of mouth is, is powerful. So now this guy is busy. So he comes, he does the job and he leaves. In the meantime, the, in the meantime, the trees are looking ugly, you know, and he's not being as meticulous as he used to be. And I'm kind of pissed, you know? So what did we do? We go and we use our tools every now and then, but I, I do text him, you know, because there's certain things that I can't reach. And he will come and do it. It's just that he's slacking. Well, we have neighbors who do their own lawn, but when it comes to the trees, they're tired. You know, they have their jobs. Some of them have back problems. Other people have skin like pre-cancer. What else have I heard? Oh, I can't be in the sun because I take such and such medication. There are all sorts of situations. You know, I told you, before there's women who are, were our widows. Um, they used to have their husband not so long time ago. So there's all these people who need help and you could be that person who comes and trims their trees maybe every other month, maybe three times or four times a year. It's, this is not something that you do that often, but there's so many houses in the neighborhoods and every person has friends and relatives that they can refer you to. And again, I showed you these three instruments. You start with those three tools. Eventually, if you like it, if you get, once you get your clients, you'll need better equipment. We all know that, but you can start with these three tools, make your money and then go and buy your equipment. And of course you'll need your little flyer or your business card. Think outside the box, but there's money to be made and you will be helping people. And that was Tree Pruner. Side hustle number 13. By the way, if you're enjoying my content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, I have a lot of tips to offer on this video and in future videos. So I would love to have you as my subscriber. Go ahead and subscribe. So side hustle number 13 is host an experience through Airbnb. As you know, Airbnb has thousands of clients throughout the world because they advertise all these different properties for their clients. Well, their clients want to have unique tours and experiences when they visit these different cities. 
So you can be one of those providers. Of course, you have to apply. There's an application process. You have to be extremely detailed, letting them know that your, your, your guests are going to be safe and what plans you have to, for them. You want to offer pictures and details. And once you're accepted, they will advertise for you. All their clients will have access to those beautiful pictures that you provide and they'll book the experience with you, through you. Keep in mind that Airbnb keeps a 20% cut. So you have to keep that in mind when you establish your price. Just add the 20% so that Airbnb can get their portion, which includes insurance. Okay, your clients are going to be insured through Airbnb um, thanks to that fee. So what kinds of experiences are we talking about? It's not just tours. Yes, you can offer a city tour on bike, on a scooter, on, by foot, on a little minivan or whatever the case is, but you can offer surfing lessons, paddle, paddleboard adventures. I'm looking through my notes, please forgive, but I don't want to forget anything. Personal photo shoots. If you're good at taking pictures, you can just get them, get them some wine or refreshments and then walk around the city taking beautiful, breathtaking pictures in those, those spots that only you know because they want to show off on Instagram, okay? So you are the one who provides them those pictures or those files. Um, what else? Sip lining tours. People are into that nowadays. Picnics, exotic picnics. There's some um, chefs who come, and that's their experience, to come to the hotel room or to the apartment that the client is renting and cook for them. So not only they get to eat delicious food, but they get to see the chef preparing. Um, pottery classes, yoga at the beach, salsa classes, calypso classes. So you're starting to get the idea. You're offering them something that's magical that's exciting and that's unique so you have to have the personality and the knowledge for it but there's money to be made some of these people are making twenty thousand dollars a month some are making a hundred thousand dollars a month think out of the box and go offer a wonderful experience that they will remember forever and that they will tell their friends you can do it Side hustle number 14, become a tutor. If you're good at math, reading, writing, or if you have a second or third language that you're willing to teach, let me tell you that parents are willing to hire you. There's money to be made because students need help and they have all these gaps in their education because of the health crisis that we went through and the lockdown. So you can make money by becoming a tutor. My nephew recently needed a tutor for algebra and my sister got him a tutor. She was paying him $30 an hour and this was once a week. The guy was so busy that she even had to wait a few weeks for him but he was finally able to squeeze him in and now my nephew has improved big time and he actually gets to help students at school. Keep in mind that most schools have tutoring. It's the same top student, um, the same teachers at the end of the day who are exhausted, wanting to go home to their own kids, but they stay and they get paid a little bit, a little extra money to tutor for tutoring. But the student, they're better off going home, taking a shower, eating their snack, and meeting a new face, somebody who's not tired from dealing with students all day. It's much more effective. So parents know this and they're willing to pay for your services. There's a website out there, it's called tutor.com where you can advertise or if you wanna make more money, do it on your own. You know, just start telling parents, make your mini flyers that you're gonna share with the parents and with the students and talk to people in your community, letting them know that you are there for their students. There's money to be made and students need you more than ever because of what they went through during the pandemic, okay? They have all these gaps in their education, as I said before. 
side hustle number 15 guess what it is YouTube content creator with over 122 million active daily users consuming over a billion hours of YouTube every day there is money to be made creating videos now how does this work this is a new page right here and I'm not monetized yet but eventually once I reach a thousand subscribers it is a little challenging in the beginning it could be but it's just a matter of posting videos constantly the algorithm really appreciates um, consistency so I'm trying to upload every Thursday at the same time it's four o'clock Eastern time I believe so you just keep doing your videos keep getting better the first videos that you make are like practice videos until you get an idea of what you're doing um, you want to pick a niche and eventually niche down but in the beginning you're just uploading videos and doing your best once you reach a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of views which is a big deal um, you become you can become monetized you have to apply and it's through AdSense AdSense is the company that will place if you're approved they will place advertisements on your videos and you will get paid for that YouTube takes a 45% cut and you take a 55% cut you're paid only once a month um, not everybody get, gets paid the same amount. It depends a lot on the niche. It depends on the language. It depends on the city where your viewers are viewing you from. So there's a lot of factors because let's face it, some videos are just pranks and advertisements are a little reluctant to advertise on those, those type of videos. Um, there are some who will but um, more serious companies or companies that have to do with insurance and banking, they're looking more like for finance. Beauty videos get a lot of cl clients, um, but there's cooking. There's also these different niches that you can get into. Just make sure to pick something that you're passionate about, something that you like talking about, and be consistent. Try to be yourself because there's only one you, okay? And remember that there, out there, there's so many types of people and you will click with somebody. Not, not everybody likes you. Not all, everybody will understand your accent or maybe they don't like the colors that you wear. Who cares? There are people out there who appreciate you and even though some people would prefer to talk to somebody of a certain age and you're not that age it doesn't matter just do your thing be positive do your best do your research so that you make sense when you're talking and you will be able to help people that's the goal here either you help or you entertain or you do both but AdSense is the one that pays you and eventually the work will pay off so those are my 15 side hustles and the reason I'm recommending these side hustles is because they're very easy you don't need special equipment the doula training the doula side hustle you do need some training but I left you the the information to get your credentials these are things that you can do they're easily obtainable and there's money to be made okay so it doesn't matter if you're doing this to travel, to buy a car, to buy a house, to invest, to save. It doesn't matter. All I want you to know is that you can create your own economy. You can make your own money and follow your dreams. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Leave me a thumbs up and please let me know of what side hustles you have done in the past or maybe you're doing today that are different from those that I mentioned. I would love to hear from you. Let me know and thanks for watching.